Hey Pythonistas, Will here with another video in the Fluent Python series. Uh, we are starting the text versus bytes chapter. So uh, one of the great things about Python is that it can uh, is built sort of to handle text uh, in NLP processes for natural language processing uh, for other reasons. So throughout this chapter, um, we're going to be processing uh, strings and text, but uh, here's a shout out to Project Gutenberg. If you need text, uh, some kind of books or dialogue or something, uh, what you could do is go into Project Gutenberg. These are books in the public domain now, I believe, and uh, the whole entire books are on here. So these are just classic works that you can find in plain UTF-8 format. Uh, we'll be going over that, but here's all of Moby Dick, for example. So if you need text, uh, if you need a lot of text for some kind of thing that you are doing, uh, processing it with Python, uh, you could do worse than going to Project Gutenberg and checking that out. Uh, but with that, what we are going to do is dive, start diving into the chapter on text first byte in the Fluent Python series. All right, here I am in Python uh, 363. Again, you should not be uh, in Python 2. You should be on Python 3 unless you're dealing with an older code base that you are maintaining. Okay, so I want to get this right, so I'm going to read from the book. Um, so the items you get out of a Python 3 string are Unicode characters, just like the items of a Unicode object in Python 2 and not the raw bytes you get from a Python 2 string. So Python 2 and Python 3 have this divergence between um, string and Unicode that is one of the larger things about Python 2 and 3 and something that was you know fixed from Python 2 to 3. So let's dive in here. Um, if you're dealing with ASCII text then a lot of this chapter won't apply to you typically but usually what we're doing with is dealing with is UTF-8 encodings so UTF-8 encoding is it's just the most common 8-bit encoding on the web. Most of what you're working with um, is UTF encoding, uh, and we'll get into that. So let's just start off here uh, with an example. Okay, so if we say S equals cafe with a little accent on there, um, let's see the type of S is a string the len of s is four okay so what we can do is encode uh s as bytes by using uh it's a string so string dot encode utf8 uh, i believe that's right so now here are the bytes interestingly the um the length of the bytes is five because the accent on the e here is is stored as two bytes. Okay, and then we can use decode on the bytes to get back to uh, the string cafe. So let's call this A is B decode uh, UTF-8. Okay, so encode takes the string uh, and encodes it into machine language bytes. Decode takes the machine language bytes and decodes it into human readable text string. Okay, we can also use byte arrays. Uh, let me paste this. If this should fail, we need an encoding pass here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we need to pass the encoding. Notice that I'm always just about in passing UTF-8. It's just such the standard. Um, what did I do? Okay. So this is a byte array. So cafe is an array of bytes. So each um, 
each item in this array is a byte uh, and it's a string uh, or it's an integer from 1 to 256. Okay, so Python itself comes bundled with uh, a number of encoders and decoders, uh, and these are called these codecs here. So here are just some of the ones that uh, I was playing around with. So you have Latin 1, UTF-8, which is a standard in UTF-16. So for each codec in, in these codecs, what I'm going to do is print the codec, um, and then this cafe uh, string that we've had, encode it. Uh, using that codec and then just let's separate out the byte arrays the bytes so that we could see them so you could see in latin one you have you know caf and then the last byte is here uh, for the e then in utf8 it separates that last byte into two bytes and then in utf16 uh, we have a lot more bytes representing this uh, this string itself Okay, so this is just the beginning with some encoding uh, and decoding basics What we're going to do is get into examples of uh, Unicode encoding errors decoding errors next and uh, Continue working through the chapter on uh, text first bytes. So uh, stick around join me next time. Thanks for watching